hello guys uh, in today's video uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, enable SSL uh, in Kafka and uh, connect to it so in previous uh, videos I've shown you how you can connect to uh, how you can run Kafka in, in docker and also how you can uh, connect to Kafka uh, using different protocols one for plain text and the other one for uh, sassel with uh, plain text okay so in this one we're going to focus on the set the changes we need to make in order to uh, enable SSL uh, protocol okay and c connect to it so uh, the changes we have here is that uh, the zookeeper is still the same uh, there is no change there and for the Kafka in order to enable SSL we need to uh, generate certificates especially uh, key store and uh, the trust store so I have uh, generated the certificates here uh, I have a script here uh, which after running all this uh, commands uh, finally uh, we need only four um, uh, only four three three of uh, this uh, files we need a key store both for the client and uh, for the Kafka server and we need a trust store for Kafka okay so these are just the steps that we have to follow in order to uh, finally have a working key, a key store and trust stores okay uh, yeah so after doing that uh, I have these files so having those uh, we need to add uh, these properties here uh, one is uh, actually here uh, I'm enabling uh, two protocols one plain text and the other one SSL the plain text is running in uh, 1992 and the SSL is in 1993 okay so uh, the protocol mapping looks like this and uh, we need to locate uh, the where the key store is and also where the trust store is and uh, plus the password is used uh, uh, to pass in into the key store and the trust store okay so those I have uh, put that password in this file SSL credits so it's reading this file uh, in order to get the password okay so key store credentials um, for the key and also for the trust store okay uh, I have used the same password that's why you see the same files here and lastly we need to uh, enable the authentication it states that the client needs to be authenticated and also specify the protocol okay so uh, I have linked this uh, certificates folder to uh, etc Kafka secrets okay where this setting expects uh, to find the key store the trust store and the other files uh, uh, we specified here okay so let's run a check discussed about this uh, docker extension in the first Kafka video you can check it out so uh, we have uh, the zookeeper and the Kafka running okay so let's inspect into Kafka and run some of the commands okay uh, you can check whether as certificate has been binded uh, to the directory we specified here by uh, simply uh, browsing through the files okay after container so we don't need to do that now let me just copy this command and check if it's able to create topics so let's first taste with the plain text which is at port 992 yeah it has created a 
topic name it test let's do the same with uh, the SSL one so for the SSL we need to be authenticated that means we need to pass uh, the client's uh, key store okay so in order to do that uh, we have specified where the client uh, key store is in this uh, properties file which is again linked to the secrets folder in the container and this is what the client properties file looks so we have specified the protocol to be used the trust store of the kafka the password to use mm, the password used for the trust store and we have specified where the client key store is uh, the password again and the password for uh, for the client's uh, private key okay then yeah so we need to pass this and you will pass that using the command config option let me call this test2 Oh, sorry, I haven't changed the port. It's still in 1992. Since it's this is SSL, we need to pass in 1993. Still, what did I do? Oh, still, the port I specified is in the wrong one let me remove all this and copy this again yeah test already exists that's right Let's change this to two test two. Yeah, the topic has been uh, created test two. So let's check with the producer. So hi from Kafka. Let's exit this and check, do the same thing for the consumer. So we are using the same client properties file uh, with uh, different options. Okay, for, for the topic, the option is command config. For the producer, it's producer config. And for the consumer, consumer config. Okay, so as you can see, it's able to read all those message produced so this is it thank you for watching if you like the tutorial please uh, like the video and subscribe thank you